Welcome to MAKE, a course taught at the University of South Florida. I'm Christopher Alming, a junior in the Electrical Engineering Department. In this video, we are going to talk about a few of the basic examples that come with the Arduino IDE. So here we have open Arduino. From here, we go to File, Examples, and we can see all of their examples. We're going to start with the basics, and we're going to start with the blink sketch. So we have the sketch. How do we make the circuit? Well, we go to the Arduino website, which is arduino.cc, then we go to Learning, Examples, then under Core Functions, we have Basics and Blink. Here you can see the circuit. It's comprised of an LED, some wires, and a resistor. So how do we make this? First, we must look at a breadboard. Here we have a breadboard. On the left and right side are power rails. The left column with the blue are all connected together, and is usually your ground or negative. The right side is red and is usually your positive voltage. This is the same as the right side. In the middle we have two rows, or two columns, and a bunch of rows. Each row is connected like this. So now we'll begin wiring it. So here we have the breadboard and the Arduino with nothing connected. So where do we begin? Let's start with the ground. We add the ground wire to the Arduino and to the power rail of the breadboard. Now let's add the wire from pin 13 that will be used to power the LED. Now let's look at an LED. An LED has two leads. One is longer than the other. The longer one is the anode and gets connected to the positive, while the shorter one is the cathode and gets connected to the negative of ground. Here we have placed the LED with the longer one connected to the red wire which is connected to pin 13. But we have to complete the circuit for it to work. To do that we add a resistor, and the resistor gets added to the ground rail which com completes the circuit. Now we upload the sketch. and you can see that the LED is blinking. Now let's analyze the sketch a little bit. What do we have? First we defined our LED as pin 13. Then we initialize everything. To do this we set pin mode LED, which is number 13, to an output. Once we do that we can go to the loop. So we digital write the LED, which is pin 13, to high. This gives it the 5 voltage needed to power the LED. Then we delay one second, which is 1,000 milliseconds, and then we write it to low, which gives it zero volts, so the LED won't light up. Then we wait another second. So what if we edit this and make it 100 milliseconds? Now let's upload the sketch, and you can see that the LED is blinking faster. Now let's do a different example. Let's go to File examples. This time we'll do digital and we'll do a button. So we have the sketch again. Let's go to the Arduino website and find the schematic for it. We have the schematic. It has a button, a resistor, a few wires, and we're also going to use the LED from the last one as a indicator of when we're pressing the button. So to do this, let's start with what we had before. And let's first add the button. So we plug the button in across the middle rail. That way it's separated on the left and right side. Then we add a resistor to the ground, and this will act as a pull down resistor. So when you're not pushing it, it will get a ground signal. Then we add 5 volts to the power rail. Then we tap into the 5 volts with our button. And then we add a wire from our button to pin 2. And we upload the sketch. And you can see every time I press the button, the LED blinks. Now let's analyze our sketch. First, we define some variables. We have some integers that we define button 2 as pin 2. LED pin as pin 13, 
and our button state at zero to begin with. So we initialize everything, we set our LED pin to an output and our button pin as an input. Then we start our loop. So button state, which is another variable, is equal to the digital reading of the button pin. So it's going to read the state of the button pin every time the loop is run. And if the button state is high, it will make the LED high or light up, or else it will make the LED low. Using this schematic, I was able to make my Arduino light up to twinkle twinkle little star. I want to know what you can do. Give it a shot. Until next time, thanks for watching.